got at the 99 cent store. They were two for 99 cents. When you twist the top and put AA batteries in, they light up. So they're, I think they're really cute. So what we're gonna do first is just take the light out. Then we're gonna spray paint them white. Once we're done spray painting them white, we're gonna add this ribbon around it. And we're gonna tie a cute bow. I got this ribbon at Michael's. And I believe it was $4.99, however, you can use a 50% off coupon, so I did. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to give it that enameled, um, old look. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some black paint here, and I'm just painting around the edges. There's no... next project is this cute little bell garland. I got these bells at the 99 cent store. It was 99 cents for eight of them so I separated them there and now I'm taking that black paint again and I'm going around the edges and just adding some globs of paint to the side to make it to give it that weathered look. Now I'm taking some jute string and I'm tying a loop on the end and then I'm just stringing the bells on and finding out where I want them to be placed and then just tying a knot so they don't move. And I decided to do white, red, white, red, white, red. So I'm just stringing those through and tying them on. Now when I'm done, I thought it didn't need a little bit extra. So I took some of that Buffalo Check ribbon that I used on the other projects and just tied it in between. And here's what it looks like finished. I absolutely love this look. I think it looks very classic, yet very farmhouse at the same time. Like picks that I got from the 99 cent store and this garland that I got from the 99 cent store. Now I'm trying to turn these into ornaments for my tree. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking them off of the sticks and off of the string and I'm using some of this string I got on clearance at Target and from the Halloween section. And it's pretty simple, I'm just tying a loop and gluing it on. I got these ornaments, plastic ornaments, from the Dollar Tree. You can buy glass ones if you prefer glass, but I have kids, so let's be honest, I need plastic. So here I'm just taking some white paint, and I'm mixing it with some water. Just to kind of water it down a little bit, I didn't want to waste a ton of paint, so I figured watering it down would help that. So now I'm just pouring the paint inside these ornaments, and I'm putting them inside this cup so that the extra paint can kind of drain out.
Now while I wait for these to dry, I do have a Cameo Silhouette machine. I am cutting out the letters and I use the font DK Mango Smoothie. Once the ornaments were dry, I put the little hanger piece back on. And now I'm just cutting out the words that I had cut out of my machine. Now I'm going to take the transfer paper. This is the Cricut brand. I think I went to the store and that was the only one that they had. So. So now I just place it on, making sure that it's all straight. It is a little bit tricky to put these on because the ornament is curved. You just kind of have to stick it on and push it down. Now for this one, I wrote adore him. And it, this one was tricky because it was two words and the ornament is curved. So I kind of had to push the adore down and then the hem kind of got a little stuck. So so here's what they look like kind of styled up a little bit. Now you can hang these on your tree. I thought they looked really cute kind of just sitting out though. For the baby Jesus picture ornament and the one that says adore him, I decided to kind of display them a little bit more fancy because Christmas is about Jesus, right? So. What I did was I, I got these little houses from Target Dollar Spot and I just took some twine and tied it straight on the inside. And here's what they look like up on my hutch. This is such an easy DIY project to do. If you don't have a cutting machine, you can always go to Dollar Tree and they have black letters. They don't look exactly like this, but you can still get the same type of idea with them.